Hello, I'm Raina Morton with iHealth2, visiting with Nina Dockery. What prevents good digestion? Oh, usually our habits. Um, most often, for, for we in America in the 21st century, mm -hmm. we lead a fast life. And our problems with digestion many times stem from our own habits. We eat too fast. We eat too much. We eat on the go. We're preoccupied with a dozen different things, our lives in general, and those all can be very detrimental to the proper functioning of digestion. So we wolf down our food. Oh yes, and when we do that, we cannot chew it appropriately, and chewing is one of those crucial steps in beginning the digestive process. Well, that's where you, when you start to salivate, the enzymes come into play, right? Right, right. So if that food it hasn't begun to be broken down through the process of chewing, then we end up swallowing a much larger and uh, less pulverized, to use a, mm -hmm. a kind of an unusual term for it, um, food mass that goes down our throat. And many times we have a, we have a valve between our esophagus our throat, it mm -hmm. goes into the esophagus and our stomach, and that allows the food to go into our stomach. Well, if that food isn't properly chewed, then we've got a big mass that can sometimes get stuck right there. In the esophagus. In the esophagus, waiting to go into the stomach because that valve has to open and allow that food to go in. And so then our body wants to digest it, so when we finally do release gastric acid, that gastric acid wants to break down that food enough where it can go into the stomach and appropriately be digested. So we end up with heartburn. That's one of the many, there are several different causes of heartburn, but that definitely is one of them. Sometimes that valve does not work at all. And sometimes through our poor habits, mm -hmm. the valve begins to not work appropriately and we do get gastric, gastric reflux and heartburn as a result. So that's food that's stuck in the esophagus. That's yes. the heartburn, one of the sources of heartburn. One of the sources of heartburn. And this all stems from our, our eating too quickly, not too quickly, chewing, not proper, chewing. Right. eating on the go. So right. we just have these bad habits that are normal anymore. Right, they are, and, and we don't recognize, I think, the importance of the hormones that are involved in digestion that send signals to the rest of our body to do certain things at certain times. And when we are under stress, when we are eating quickly, when we are eating on the go, when we are eating too much, our signals tend to get confused. And okay. so proper digestion, the process of digestion occurring appropriately cannot occur. Why do we overeat? We overeat for many reasons, I think. I think one of them in our country is there's so much variety, there's so much food, mm -hmm. and there's so much availability of that food, and it smells so good, and it looks so good. And so one of the reasons we overeat is because of that. Because we're stimulated to we're overeat. We're stimulated to overeat. Another will be just the stress of our lives. We're stressed, we're tired, we're exhausted, and we overeat because we think if we eat something, it will keep us awake, it will keep mm -hmm. us energetic. Um, very often it does not do that, but that is our, our thought. Our, our brains say, I need to eat because I'm tired, so I must not be getting the nutrients. And a lot of times we overeat simply because we are not getting the appropriate nutrients into our system. Uh -huh. So our body is saying, I need something. And so our our brain is saying, well, I have to eat something, I'm not sure what. To get we're the nutrients. Not, to get the nutrients. We are simply trying to get the nutrients from our food. Because we're not absorbing the, the nutrients in our Many intestines. Many times we are not absorbing the nutrients because we have not allowed the digestive process to occur completely, and therefore we are not getting the nutrients into our system that we need to get. Well, thank you, Nina. We value your information. Thank you very much.